guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Today I have a Costco haul for you guys. It has been a minute. I have not been to Costco for like a true full haul in a long time. It's been a while. I try to keep a rotation going of like not being too repetitive week to week. Like I'll do Trader Joe's, then we do Whole Foods, then we do Sprouts. Sometimes we throw in some Target lately. That's been fun. And, but I haven't done Costco in that like mix lately. And I really wanted to share with you guys what they have going on right now. I'll actually even start with some of the like now, I don't even know if they're truly newer items or not, but they are on coupon this month. So I wanted to mention that to you guys, that I feel like this month, finally, they have a few items that are more the plant-based ones and actually on coupon. That's always fun. And <laughs> so we wanted to go check it out. And that's what we did today. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul, of course, and I hope you guys are having a great, great day. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any future videos. And if you guys give this video a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I'm just gonna get into this haul. I'll put the prices with everything for you guys. And I hope again, you're having a great, great day. All right, so I will say, I feel like we did a pretty good overall, really. And uh, just getting really healthy, clean, you know, green food. And that's always good. You know what though? Now that I just said that, I would have totally got bananas because that's a pitiful situation of bananas, but I didn't see them there. And this happened actually a few months ago. Huh. Okay, well, we'll have to pick that up uh, in a couple days for sure. But yeah, well, what's with the bananas? Anyway, just realized that. But overall, again, we did just stick to mostly some clean, good fruits and veggies, which is always awesome at Costco because you do get so much. Of course, you just don't want to, you know, not go through it. But now I'm compelled to eat it because it's here. <laughs> but with that said, we also found some of the items that are the fun items. And I'll just start with these for you guys. These Donnelly Farms Veggie Bites. I literally just showed these yesterday on our vlog and we used them on the like griddle pan we have of cooking them up on there and they're really really good I will say they're not like my favorite out of all of the ones out there but they are good and it's something different just kind of to show you what they look like these are frozen but again it's hot here so everything's already like you know wanting to go right back into the freezer but that's what they look like and uh, Nate really enjoys them so got those for him and again these were on coupon I want to say they were three or four Maybe even five bucks off. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put the price. And then these ones here, I have not tried these. At least I do not think I have. Um, I don't want to say 100% I've never had them, but I don't think so. But Chipotle Black Bean Burger is right up my alley. Same brand, also on coupon. And you know what? I feel like maybe I have had these like a long time ago, but... I know I'm going to love them. That sounds bomb. So got these. I love having these on hand. Cook it up real quick on a pan on the stove and then dice it up and throw it into a salad. I do that probably daily. <laughs> like it's just a go-to for me. I love it. So it's a good change up. So got those two items and I wanted to be sure to tell you about that. Um, again, just since they are on coupon. Now I thought this was interesting. I feel good about it, but I mean, it's a little bit of a bummer, but also this is not a bad replacement. So <laughs> I'll take it. And why I say that, though, is right now, at least what we can tell, they are not carrying tofu anymore, like just plain in the bricks of tofu, right? Well, they have for years and years, and now it's been gone for months, and I'm like, it's still not back. It's still not back. And today, we saw this, and I feel like, and it was literally where our tofu normally was when they did have it, and I'm like, this is going to be what their new thing is now. Why I'm happy about it is this brand is delicious of like marinated tofus. I've had them before. I don't know if I've technically had this specific like seasoning, but I'm telling you the Hodo is so, so good. Um, but it's pretty pricey in grocery stores, even for like a little package usually is like five or six bucks for like a little bit. And tofu is usually pretty cheap anyway. Anyway, that's kind of my spiel of like, I was happy to find this because again, it's really, really good from what I remember. And now it's cool that you can get it at a better deal at Costco. But it's still a little bit of a bummer that like you can't just get regular tofu there now. But the good news with that still, of course, is tofu is very, very affordable. So getting it pretty much at any grocery store usually is not like so bad anyway. But anyway, that's kind of my spiel with it. But I'm excited to try these out. And I'm, I know they're going to be good. But I'll just pop these. They come in little packages too. So 
so it's ready to eat in five minutes. I'm gonna just pop this into my air fryer and again, throw it on a, a bowl of either like rice and veggies or again, a salad. It's just what I do. Nate wanted to go ahead and get these. He, you guys know if you've been following for a long time too, like he goes in and out of this and he truly believes that like these make a world of difference. And I've never really gotten into it myself, but he's all about it. But those immunity shots for like juice shots and essentially it's, with this one's with turmeric and probiotics. Sometimes you can do it with like a little bit of cayenne pepper in it too. So this brand's pretty popular. You can find it at a lot of places, but you get 10 bottles in here um, and he wanted to have that. And I feel like right now, if we can load up on any additional um, <laughs> vitamins in any form, let's do that. <laughs> it's a good idea. So he went ahead and grabbed those for himself. I've been noticing a lot of my recipes lately have tomato paste and there's nothing wrong with that, but I always run out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the person that typically buys it in the tube because you don't normally use a full can. That is a real thing. But again, still, for some reason, with my recipes lately, this has been like a go-to. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm stepping it up again to the cans. So I got 12 cans here of just tomato paste. All right, then over to the greens, I have just some organic spring mix. You kind of can't go wrong with that. I will say too, Costco has amazing prices on these kinds of items almost always, you know? And a lot of places, these containers can be so expensive and it's so crazy, but these are like three bucks there. It's awesome. And then, so I got the organic baby spinach as well, and then got some of the mini peppers here again, just for various things throughout the week. And then I got some grapes. I haven't had grapes in a while. We've been on a watermelon kick and it's been awesome. And there's still one over there, but, um, I wanted some grapes too. Just again, really cold, hydrating, fresh food. <laughs> you know, I saw these and I totally thought of Nate. I don't feel like I've seen these there before. Maybe they have been, but you know, your girl ain't really caring either because I don't eat these. I don't like mushrooms really, but my husband loves them. So got those for him to change it up. They always have mushrooms there, um, but I've never really seen the portobellos, I don't think. So he, he wanted those. They do look good. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. But <laughs> anyway, I did see that they also wanted to let you guys know these are on coupon. I almost bought another bag because I, I mean, this will last me a while, but at the same time, it's a really good price. It's like, I think $11 right now, and uh, it's a bigger bag. It's like a pound and a half of them. That's not bad at all. So the uh, Manitoba Harvest brand, these this is a good one. It really is. I put hemp seeds on pretty much everything. I love them. I think they're so good for you. Great omegas. I love them. So I wanted to point that out too, of course. I also stocked up on the uh, frozen fruit, my favorite way to get it. Super affordable, both organic. And I actually like that you can get just huge bags of strawberries, of blueberries, <laughs> of pineapple, apple of mango like they have all the different just individual ones versus blends and for me personally I just prefer that because I don't necessarily always want every type of fruit when I make a smoothie and lately my go-to has been literally a banana blueberry and then protein powder and then blend it with some like almond milk it's delicious and it's so simple so I just I really like that but I'm like completely out right now of frozen fruit so wanted to stock up on those and my friends I'm so glad they still have this here's the bad news I did show these the last time um on my Costco haul it was a while ago though and a lot of you have not been able to find these apparently they're not at every Costco but please, please, if you do find them, they are so, so good. And they actually had them in a whole different spot and they really come down in price too. I swore I paid like 10 for these the first time I got them, which I still, I have no regrets. I would have done it again, <laughs> but um, they were like six this time, maybe even six or seven. And I just love them, my friends. They are dried up vegetable crisp, which doesn't sound that great, but I'm all about it. You get called cauliflower, tomatoes, carrots, okras, potatoes, and sweet potato. And for me, I like to eat the potato parts just on their own, of course. And then I like to crumble the rest as like croutons. And it's my favorite thing. I love them. They were so sweet too. About a month ago, they actually sent me a couple more bags identical to this. Yeah, they're gone. I've gone through three big bags now in probably two months all by myself. <laughs> 
I love them. I just got to point that out. If you can find these, try them out. You'll love them. All right. Then I got the edamame. This is always a must at Costco. Fantastic price. It's very, very good. You can eat it just like this. It's ready to go. Or you can heat it up too. Either way. This is one of my go-to snacks. Absolutely love it. Got some cherries here too. Those also looked really good. They had some um, apples, strawberries, and some nectarines also. But I will say the strawberries and the apples this time didn't look great. But I just stuck to the cherries this time and I'm not mad at it. They look delicious. So got those. Also got some avocados. You get five jumbo ones here, which I really like. Those are my favorite. And the price wasn't too bad because they're starting to shift and go back up and gotta have my avocado. So got those. I also got an organic garlic powder here. I always try to get most of these types of spices that you go through so often at Costco because you kind of can't beat the price there as well. Got some almond milk. I really, really like the Califia Farms one. Now I've actually still been using the Joy here. I just grabbed it to show you guys, but the it's J-O-I, which stands for just one ingredient and it's an almond base. And you literally put it in your blender, like a couple tablespoons of this and some water blend it up and you make your own almond milk. It's really, really cool. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out, but I'm still doing that too. But I got to admit, I love Califia Farms and it's such a good price at Costco. So I pretty much only get it when I go there. But otherwise I've been doing this. It's cool too, because you can always add like more to it. Like if you wanted to make it like cinnamon or you can add vanilla or whatever, but I don't know, I just wanted that this time. <laughs> also got some uh, olive oil here. This is the one that we have been using and we really, really like it and we are almost out so I got another one of those it's really good just got like good flavor and then some more limes you know the drill a lot of again my recipes will call for limes and I'll use it on various things throughout the week as well but when I have a recipe that says lime juice and it says like half a cup I mean the girl's using like half the bag <laughs> <laughs> right there. Anyway, got a watermelon here too. Again, we are doing really good with the watermelons too. They've been really, really tasty. And I hope this one is nothing short of that because they've just been so good. This is a seedless one. Um, so I can't wait to get into that. I've just been loving watermelon. And then my friends, you guys let me know at my on my last Target haul, I've stocked up on these Waterloo drinks and you guys told me that they have them at Costco. And I had never seen them before and I love them. They're so, so good. And I'm excited because I've had these two, the watermelon and black cherry, but I didn't know there was even a grapefruit one. I don't remember Target even having this as a flavor. So I think officially the only one I have not tried is technically the grape one, but I've heard it's great. And I can tell you that all the other flavors, they have blueberry, uh, watermelon, strawberry, they're delicious. There's not one that I don't like. So I'm super happy to find those here. And at Target, what was it? I think, I think I got three for 10 and essentially this is three cases here put into one. And I think this was only like seven or eight. So definitely cheaper at Costco. Gotta love that. So I'm sure that grapefruit one is delicious. I have to say Nate was pretty excited about this. <laughs> This is literally the first time we have been able to find these. They haven't even been there, like even a tag for them in about four to five months once this whole, you know, virus thing has started. But it was there and he's like, put it in the cart, just do it. He loves these, I hate them, I'm just not into it. We have done this before, my friends, team wet, team dry, I'm all team dry. So anyway, <laughs> but the boys will be boys. Anyway, also got a pineapple here. He wanted one of those, so I'm gonna cut that up for him. And then this is just like a thing, look at this. Like it just keeps going and going. It's ridiculous. Look at my hand to it. Like, it's, it's massive, but I'm here for it. And popcorn is still probably my number one go-to snack. I love it. I can't get enough. And it's literally just popcorn and salt. I'm into that, or in coconut oil with it. And that's my favorite combo. So basic and it's so good. <laughs> so I got that. That was also on coupon. And then this was on coupon, my friends, the late July snacks, jalapeno lime like chips. To me, they taste like a Dorito, the Cool Ranch Doritos with a little kick at the end. 
that's what they remind me of, of straight up. Now, if you do not have a Costco, um, these are on Thrive Market. I have that linked below. And I say that because that's where I literally first uh, tried these out and we fell in love with them. And I purchased them many times since, but when they put them on coupon, you just go in. So got a big bag this time of those. They're awesome, so good. And then last but not least, got uh, some Dave's Killer Bread. Absolutely love this, so good. And you basically, Basically get two loaves of it for the price of one. This bread is really, really shot up in price, at least in our area. And usually, again, one loaf is about six to seven dollars on its own. And you basically, again, pay, you know, the same price for two, which I just love it. And keeping your fridge, it'll last a long time. But that is it, my friends. Not like a whole lot of different things this time, but also still a good amount of food. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, we appreciate you guys always coming back. And I hope, again, you have a great, great day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. No.